What's up, Pandus? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I bought myself this thing. It's a coffee grinder. Um, I don't have one. And, uh, you know, I thought I'd get whole roasted coffee beans and grind my own beans and brew some coffee and see how it goes. So here it is. It's totally tubular. It's very tubular. I don't see any instructions with it. I don't think it's probably too hard to figure out. But the bottom just pulls off and you have a plastic, clear plastic like uh, um, transparent bottom casing here, like a polycarbonate. You have a little window there that you can see through. And then like stainless steel sheet metal it seems like all around. And then we have this part, which is really the kind of the business end. The the grinder and we have this handle the little plastic spinning handle on the end so it looks like you just kind of put it on I guess it's maybe not really meant to be a permanent fit because there's no like nut to tighten down although when I put it on there man it's kind of on there <laughs> I can't get it off now which is maybe fine and then as we do that as we crank here we get turning right there now the key is how do we do that? So this top comes off, and oh, there we go. That pulled the top, that pulled it off. Um, you can remove this top, which is just a little cap. It looks like coffee beans go in here. You put the bottom on, the catch, and then you cap it, and then you put the handle on, and you grind them through, kind of like a giant pepper grinder. So let's go ahead and put some coffee beans in here and see what it does. All right, peeps, here in the kitchen with the coffee grinder. I'm gonna go ahead and open up this bag. I'm gonna go ahead and open the top here of the coffee grinder and throw in some coffee beans. Just pouring them into the top here. And I'm gonna kind of just fill it all the way to the top because I don't feel like this thing is that big, right? It's actually kind of small. I mean, it's it's awesome because it's really compact and you can take it with you. But I'm kind of thinking that the amount of beans that you are grinding would just kind of satisfy one person's coffee fix. So you put that on top, seals up there pretty nicely. I'm going to go ahead and put the handle back on. And now let's grind the sucker into the little plexiga a glass catch there and uh, see how it goes. Definitely kind of want to hold it with both hands as you're kind of crossing the middle to hold the, the bottom on, but then also keep the top from just rotating along with the handle. All right, I've ground them uh, up pretty much about all I'm going to be doing. And you can see here that, you know, it's pretty much nothing left. So it did a pretty good job of getting all the beans, even though you just have gravity pushing them down. But I want to show you here the results. You and I will take a look at this together. And here's the bottom of the, the grinder. You can see the beans came out. And then we have, we do have a cylinder of coffee grounds that are very aromatic. I can smell these suckers. It smells good, man. I'm excited about uh, pouring myself a cup of coffee with them. Now, I will tell you that that took a lot of grinding. So uh, I would totally use an electric grinder if you're gonna grind coffee for regular drinks. Um, but right off the bat, it's a pain, man. I, when I thought I was done, I wasn't done with this sucker. So what I would say is that this is more for traveling for being able to have fresh ground coffee on the road. You know, it's maybe a, it's small, so maybe it could go into a, a pack or, you know, your camping gear, but holy smokes, grinding just this much coffee uh, for myself was kind of painful. All right, French press myself some of these uh, delicious coffee grounds. Let's give this coffee taste here. Smells damn good. Tastes good. Ooh, that is smooth. So check out this uh, portable coffee grinder. I love how light it is, how small, how compact, and it does a nice job. The only thing I would say about it is you do not want to grind by hand 
your coffee beans on a daily basis. So even just this much, just kind of a handful of coffee beans really takes a lot more time than I thought. And so this is great to have, you know, out on a trip somewhere where you don't have power, but you want to have an electric coffee grinder if you're going to grind your own beans or just get the ground coffee from your local store. But definitely works pretty cool. I like being able to have this uh, when you need it. Peter Von Panda, out!